five, four, three, two. What up, y'all? Welcome to Here's the Thing. I'm Kev on stage. She's that chick AJ. Welcome to another podcast banger, episode. Smash banger, that like button. Banger, smash that notification banger, button. Bangers, bangers, bangers. All 2022. Bangers, bangers, bangers. Just for you. Do you have any church announcements, Angel? Beyonce just came out with a new song. That's my church announcement, and I'm so excited about it. Cause you won't break my stuff. You won't break my stuff. You won't break my stuff. Come on. You don't break my stuff. You know what it is? I am not a house music person. I know that is your <laughs> whole thing about it. I'm not. But it does take me to day parties in Vegas. This is what you're going to hear. Oh, it's going to be outside. You're, you're drunk. You're with a bunch of white people you don't know. You're like, what are you drinking on? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's so loud in here. It's so hot. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's big. I just walked into Zara. Yeah. Uh, energy. And what, Kev? I'm just saying. I just feel like they're like, hey, you need anything? Huh? Yeah. The two XLs over there. I didn't even, you don't know what I'm shopping for. Why it's, are you already pointing to two X? I could be shopping for somebody that's small. It's absolutely that. It's also absolutely, um, I feel like this was written for white women. And oh, I'm yeah. here for white for, women? Absolutely. I see TikToks saying this, this music got white women dancing in the club like this again with their, with their hands. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they don't is, know what to do with their hands. <laughs> This is also, I just got out of therapy. I had a breakthrough. You won't break my soul. <laughs> Kevin, you won't break my soul. Like, it's all of it. It's all of these things. And I'm here for every single piece of it. No, it is not my typical Beyonce. It's not about to have me over here clapping my cheeks. But You can't twerk to it? Oh, don't. I can. <laughs> don't, don't, don't dare me. But I do feel like. Okay, this has its like if if I were like okay, name some good house music songs. Couldn't name one. Now I can. <laughs> Drake was releasing house music last week. I didn't week. listen to none of that. I didn't listen to it. I'm not a Drake fan. I'm not a. I I, I will be honest because there was a whole discussion on this on Twitter yesterday. Mm -hmm. People were saying Drake broke the ice for her, blah blah blah. And then one of these people I follow was like Drake and Beyonce didn't even release the same type of song. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> you said you uh, could play massive and then play. That's why I was like, don't break my soul back to back. You will hear it back to back. That's why I was like, I didn't understand in the day clubs. Maybe. I, and that's what I was honestly thinking. I don't know that I will probably hear this song much. I don't think Beyonce be on the radio like that. Usually not on the radio station. I listen to 94.7 the way they don't play anything that was released. Past mm -hmm. They just like five. They be playing old stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't really go to day parties much. So when I get to the album. Skip. You see in that one. Okay. Watch Hold her on. drop an entire house album. This is, I you can get through a yes, whole. Yes, I absolutely will. Whoa, Kevin. I will not listen to music that I don't like. Let's go put it on. You're going to skip the whole album. Yes. If it's got enough skips, it doesn't even. Four more skips, the album don't get played. Oh. If I... you got too many skips, it's, if I'm just doing this too much, she can create whatever art she wants. Her fans will love it. And I will say. You won't break my stuff. You won't break my stuff. I am going to get through spin classes because of this song. Okay? Peloton is going to be playing this oh, song. Oh, Peloton uh, go yes. run her a this, check. This is a 45-minute Tabata. Man, yes. it's a good easily. Tabata ride. Oh, they, all, might not, they might have just do it. all hills today. This, all right. This is an easy, like, 70 cadence with about a 45 resistance. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Come on, it's all in the thighs, third position. I'm here for third all position. of this. His big 40 to 50 resistance here. <laughs> yes. Guys, I, listen, it's, it's okay. I, Beyonce is yeah, able to make whatever she wants. She's going to be fine. People are going to run it up. Uh, it just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know much about house music. Chicago's going up. That's that's the origin of house music. It is it? I learned something. You won't break my stuff. Come on. You won't break my soul. Yeah, I'm gonna be in the <laughs> house. Your head back. That's what it is. It's very much so. Is there a way? Is there could Beyonce put out a song that you didn't don't like? I hate it to the left to the left. Hated it. Really? Hated it. I was like, you Yo. skip it? 
I don't listen to that song. I know every word. I know every riff. <laughs> don't I worry listen about that. To that song. <laughs> I Don't hate you that song. She knows every word. I know every word. I know every riff. Yes, hate but I hate it. it. I hate really? it. Really? Yeah. I thought it was some of Neo's poorest writing, but you know what? Really? Yeah. To the left, to the left, everything you own in the box to the left. Okay, Candy. Come on, legs, hips, and body, body. <laughs> adi, adi. <laughs> but yeah, no. I uh, This one, like I said, it might, it's not my like normal cup of tea, but like, when I was playing it last night, I was like, this could serve a place in my life. And I can also hear the audience that would definitely love it. And that's usually, I just need to know where it fits in my life as far as in where could it be played for me. And I would like be like, oh, this is creating the vibe that I want. Yeah. And it does have a place in my life personally, but not like, it's not my, all right, Angel, let's get crunk. Let's go do this performance. It is definitely... You're about to either be drunk as hell with white people you don't know, or mm -hmm. you're going to be on your Peloton trying yeah. to get through. I, I agree that certain music is also placed in certain places, right? Like Future, for example. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Future's music, but when All Deaf, we had our one million subs party at One Oak, mm -hmm. and they played March Madness, it might have been the single greatest three minutes Kev of had the dirty night. soda in his styrofoam I cup. I did. Ever. I had a little rum and pine. Oh. <laughs> Feeling spicy. Come on. But I mean, uh, Future's music in that place is well placed. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you want to just like um, clean the house, Anita Baker's perfect. I don't know why black people decided Anita Baker's music is perfect, mm -hmm. but it's great. And we all as a culture collectively decide that. Some people's music is great for road trips. Some people's is terrible mm -hmm. for road trips. Some is great for, for flying. I love uh, Snow Allegra's got great. I just got on a pl plane. Mm -hmm. I need to chill music. Mm -hmm. So if I were in a day party in Vegas, I would. I probably heard that song snuck in by some DJ when we were there a couple weeks ago. Uh, but I'll be at day parties in Vegas like that. So oh. anyway. Yeah. Uh, not Dirty Sprite. Man, y'all know what it is. Just hush. I don't know what the future's Mark Madden was on. This is definitely a, okay, she just broke up. Our homegirl just broke up with her dude. We've got to cheer her up. Hit it. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, girl. <laughs> it's fine. We're going to get you back out there. This is going to be the soundtrack of Ooh. some rom-com movie. She, Beyonce's going to be fine. And I'm sure I'll enjoy the album. I've heard it's going to be a um, mix of house and country mm. music. Oh. Uh, 16 tracks. Couple acts, too. So I'm, Couple I'm, acts. I'm, I'm, I'm interested if it's going to be a mix of house and country either in act one or in act two, or if there's going to be like a house album and a country album. Mm. I'm curious. Oh, that might be cool to, br to break up the... Yeah, plus she won more. She won more Grammys like that. Yes. And I four. Don't... How many? No, three acts. Three acts. Four songs each. I don't care for either one of those genres. I'll know every song. You didn't like uh, what was, was her? Was shoot. Uh, daddy lessons. Yeah, my was daddy that? said shoot. Oh, that's what you just said. Yeah. I didn't know. You didn't I, like it? I didn't hear it. No, I'm, I'm not in. I'm not. I don't like country music like it. But I. And that has served no purpose in my life. Yeah. That's the, again, it's got to have a reason for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, I bet you some people who like it. She sang her face off on it. And it it's sounded like a country song. That album, People's Favorite Songs, is very, very different on the uh, Lemonade album. I think my favorite song is. Mine is Hope. They don't love me like I love you. Slow down. They don't love you like I love you. Back up. They don't love you like I love you. Step down. They don't love you like I love oh, you. What's my favorite? They what's the one about war? Uh, um, superpower. You talking about that? Love drought. Hold on, I don't want to just be the taking of this. Superpower. Ten times out of nine, I know you're lying. It's love drought. That's my favorite song on that album. All right. Thank you for that church announcement. The Kev on stage masterclass <laughs> is on sale for. By the time you listen to this, I believe eight more days. That's it. Promo code fifty. Uh, it won't be that deeply discounted again until maybe Black Friday, even if that. I, and I'm adding more classes as we speak, so I might raise the price oh, by the time I get to a certain... Huh? I still need to add one. The one you asked me to add? Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. I did have a real church announcement. I'm sorry. sorry. 
What's your real church do, announcement? Do, do what you're supposed to do. My real church No, he's talking about for the master class. I know. That's what I'm saying. Tell him, do what he's supposed to do. Get oh. that thing and do it. Uh, I am enough collaboration with uh, Life's Journey is dropping at the end of this week. So be on the lookout. New merch from Angel. Yeah. Come on. All right. So the actual thing that I wanted to talk about first, this was the second year that Juneteenth was a federal holiday. Mm-hmm. This was the first year I had some uncomfortable interactions that I hadn't had before. Really? Why? Yes. I'm going to tell you. Uh, not necessarily uncomfortable, but new. Yeah, yeah. One was, uh, I felt a way about one. On actual Juneteenth, and I'll be honest, um, I was one of the people who learned about Juneteenth later in life. Mm-hmm. Um, I did not, and I grew up in Texas, but El Paso is very different than other parts of Texas. Oh, wow. And obviously in most public schools, Juneteenth is not taught. So like a lot of things, black history, I didn't learn until college. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're not familiar, it's okay. Juneteenth basically is about um, how slaves in Texas were not notified about the Emancipa- Emancipation Proclamation until 30 months after it really happened. So it happened first in January 1863, I believe. They didn't find out they were free till June, June 19th, uh, 1865. 1865, right? So uh, don't feel bad if you didn't know, if you just learned the last couple of years or in college or yesterday, because it was designed for you to feel that way. Uh, so then it was turned into a federal holiday. And that like most blacks, I was happy. I was Texas like, right. really been on their own thing since the beginning of time. Absolutely. Texas, so Texas feels like it could secede from the nation and still survive. That, now, you know, that they weren't the only place that that has like its own little celebrations like Ooh. Texas. They were the last ones to find out. Mm-hmm. There were other places where they found out later. Well, the thing, not later than Texas, but later. Yeah, well, it didn't really go into effect until the Union Army came mm-hmm. and was like, y'all free. They weren't on right? Twitter? No, they weren't on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And slave owners, surprisingly, weren't like, ah, Let whole Abe said on. slaves are free. Goodbye, guys. Right. They, you know, interestingly enough, held on to the last second. Mm-hmm. So, um... On Juneteenth, I was, <laughs> was taking my nieces and nephews with my wife and them on like a Hollywood trip. Like Still everybody here? comes to Hollywood. Goes You're talking to about the, on Saturday or on Sunday? On Sunday. Okay. On Sunday. We went to Hollywood Boulevard. I was actually at Hollywood Boulevard when this happened. I went to a Capital One cafe to go to the bathroom. White lady security guard was like, hey, happy Juneteenth. Stuck her fist out. I was right by her. She gave you the dat? She she gave me a fist bump, and I I it was it was a knee jerk reaction, mm-hmm. and I I fist bumped her. Went into the bathroom, and I was like, I don't think, no, for sure, I'm 100 percent positive, the white person has never wished me a happy Juneteenth, mm-hmm. and she was genuinely like, yeah, like you would say, Merry Christmas, mm-hmm. Happy Thanksgiving. She was like, Hey, Happy Juneteenth. She wasn't like brother. She wasn't blacking it up. Right. She just was like, and then she was like, the bathroom's right down there to the left. Mm-hmm. She didn't do that. Oh, so like, I was wow. peeing and I was like, hmm, that's, huh, oh, hmm, okay, because, hmm, hmm. It's like hearing happy Kwanzaa from someone who isn't black. But the real one was yesterday. I was in here in this office, behind on work. I emailed a white person, a Wahite, if mm-hmm. you will, mm. and their email came back out of the office in observance of Juneteenth. Yeah. And I was in the office office uh and obviously i'm an entrepreneur so we don't necessarily get federal holidays off like that i had taken the actual day off and i said hey wait a what you uh uh-uh, you need to be at work you need to be at, <laughs> y'all need at least two and a half years of juneteenth uh-huh before you get the holidays day. worth not mm-hmm. the calendar time mm-hmm. you need two and a half years of juneteenth observed yeah. Before y'all can get it off. Because mm-hmm. the slaves had to work for another two and a half years, roughly. Mm-hmm. There's zero reparations, man. The white people immediately get the first holiday off? I went to the post office when I left here. That thing was closed. <laughs> closed! I said, oh, y'all were for real when y'all said federal. <laughs> it didn't even click. Like saying play, play. Like, we, you, hey, yeah, we know about it. But they were like, no, for real. <laughs> it's federal. Y'all off. And I feel like that in combination with the commercialization of it, I feel like it's just, we need to have a meeting because these are some of the effects that Definitely I, I need don't. a town hall. I heard we got to have AM a town radio. hall. What do you bl- want? I don't know, Angel, but not this. I don't want her off and me working. I know that much. That fell off. <laughs> I want her to be working twice as hard. 
on Juneteenth for enough. She needs to be worked. Juneteenth shouldn't be celebrated by Wahites until the enough Juneteenths have passed. <laughs> okay, Aww. there's only two. Yeah. Okay, so however many more of thirty months, we need twenty eight more years of Juneteenth before they can get a day off. Mm, years no because yes. then, then they won't be thinking about it they'll just they're like, not Whatever. thinking about it now yes, it's going to be are. the same thing we'll as memorial it, day we'll if he it has serious. to type it up in that email yeah. he's thinking about it there's no they're not taking as, it serious if there's no day off of work john as much as serious as i took off memorial day memorial day for most people they for most people they think about a day off and a barbecue before they think about soldiers you think Labor the guy day? that murdered angel's dad that first day off of work he had he was like ah yeah. Now he's like, well, then people they... going to think about it as much as I think about Cinco de Mayo. Most people don't even know what that is. You know, that's a Mexican independence. It's not. I'm, I'm having tacos. What? Well, that's and not tequila. a federal holiday. We I don't know. know. My point is. is people are celebrating stuff they don't even know about. I don't feel like people have learned enough. They just how you spell Juneteenth so I can put it in my out of office. Well, that is when you take the then you say. Do you know what it is? That's what you do in the email back. Tell me what Juneteenth is. And get another out of office. I said yes. I'm out of office, nigga. Then, huh? then you oh. said it on Tuesday. Hey. Hey. You said it on Tuesday. Tell me why you was out of office yesterday yeah. and what it means. What it means. What'd you do? How do you how you did think you think they're observing Juneteenth and really doing something? No. No, I doubt it. I mean, but listen, did you do anything to observe Juneteenth? Yeah. I took my family <laughs> down. We was free. <laughs> We went down to L.A. Live and Not stuff. Free, Kevin. Took my kids to see Top Gun. That, oh, that's how you're supposed to spend it with your that family. Movie, that movie was fire. Had though. Red Punch. I had Red Punch. See? <laughs> see? <laughs> but I'm black. I can observe it how I feel. No, you got to show them how it's supposed to be. You're an influencer, Kev. Influence. I don't, I don't, I want it, I want it back. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like only we should have the day off. We need, we ain't gonna get reparations. At least it's federally for blacks, mandatory for everybody else. And you get not time and a half. You get let, you get half time, not double, not full pay, half time. You see Andrew Schultz's joke? No. Oh my, I'll just, I'll show you after. Cause it, I was, he's pushing the line, man. I am here for Juneteenth being a federal holiday. I and am everybody too. getting off, but I just think we need to have. You know how they be having fireworks for the uh, black, red, and green fireworks. Yeah, I want fireworks. I want a parade. <laughs> I want all of it. I want all the things that come with a big federal holiday, not just yeah, y'all go home and barbecue. I want a bunch of stuff. You want an old navy sail? Yes. Oh, I want the commercialization. I be getting pissed off when I go up into uh, on Christmas time <laughs> and I go up into Joanne's and Michaels looking for a Canara. Now they got um, the menorahs for uh, uh, Hanukkah. Mm. They got Christmas trees, but I can't find the seven tier candle holder for Kwanzaa. Yeah, <laughs> I want it. <laughs> Give it to me. They need to work with a black artist so that they could get all the money from it. Okay. Yeah. I love it. Shoot. I don't want to have to make all my goddamn own decorations. <laughs> I don't want to have to make it by hand. Uh, Mark, Walmart, listen, them companies got it together. Mm -hmm. They was like, you bet, party supplies in here. Yes. We, listen, I, I'm now, I want somebody black to be able to receive the, like, financial, like, uh, you know, blessing from the be from it being capitalized. But absolutely, I would have loved to have a Juneteenth wreath <laughs> on my door. Are you kidding me? I would have loved it. Some Juneteenth plates and cups. Oh my god! Some like special word. We ain't got no other words. Like, is there any words that go with Juneteenth? Like, just happy, free. Something. I want some like African words to be put up on air <laughs> that they gotta learn. Yes, I want all of that. So they could mispronounce them and piss you off. I, and then I can correct them. Like, I have to correct people with my name. People mispronounce things all the time. Yeah, people mess up Angel. They be calling me Angela. April. Oh. Rachel. Remember the time you thought I said Angela? I said July 8th. Yeah, and I was like, excuse you? <laughs> I was like, I'm about to, you better get a speech recognition software and get that thing together like they have on Babbel. Mm -hmm. Because let me tell you, for most of us learning second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point of our academic careers. I took Spanish from third grade to 12th grade and y'all have heard me struggle 
trying to remember words because they weren't teaching in a way for me to be able to retain any type of conversational Spanish. Mm -hmm. Now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. The, uh, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn new languages, whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or you just have some free time. Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. Spanish is what I am taking. <laughs> On Babbel. I feel like if you live in the United States of America, Spanish should be a required second language because it is a language that is widely spoken by people Man, here. Better get with it or get gone. And like, if you ain't got a lot of time, all you got to do is listen, Babbel's 15 mm -hmm. minute lessons make it easy in the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other learning language apps use artificial intelligence for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons are created by over 100 language experts. Their teaching methods have been scientifically proven to be effective. And with Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can ex access podcast games, video stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash SK. SK. That's babbel.com slash SK. Ooh, SK. For up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. All right, give me one second to queue up this next video. You won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. Mm -hmm. You won't break my soul. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey. She said, I quit my job. I fell in love. Don't don't quit your jobs though. But I was if like, oh, ready. she's speaking to this generation because you know they'll quit a job in a second. They'll That's be true. like, you know, when you try to break my soul, I'm out. Quit for that reason. Mm -hmm. I'm out. You ain't gonna break it. I'm telling. You. All right. Yeah. So this is what was interesting to me. Christian Walker. Are you familiar with him? Christian Walker is Herschel Walker's son. Herschel Walker is Herschel Walker is running against Raphael Warnock for a release senator in Georgia or something booty like tab, that. Booty tab, booty tab. Mm -hmm. Herschel Walker is an old mm -hmm. uh, football player. I was like, Mahershala? No. <laughs> uh, that's where I went to. Madam yeah. C's cousin. What is he running for? Senate. He's running for Senate. His son had this video. It'll make sense in a second. In the, Listen to this. This might make some people. This is the son that lives with him. It would be great if you stayed home. Fathers, it would be great if you stayed home and raised your kids instead of ran off to bang a bunch of women who weren't your baby mama. Stay home and raise your freaking kids. Your kids need a father. Get back home. Get back home. If you take out your thing and you get a woman pregnant, guess what? The party days are over. The acting foolish days are over. You go get a freaking job and you support your new family. Mm -hmm. Get home. Raise your kids. He said get home? Get home. Oh, that's... I, I know what you thought. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Well, listen. So... Don't make it seem like I'm the dirty one. It just did not sound like he was saying get home. So, Herschel Walker, his father... Well, look at that. Last week, a couple of stories broke. Uh-huh. Most of them about him were how... Oh, let me give you one more piece. Uh -huh. Herschel Walker ran um, one of the things that he said often in his pre-campaign, I guess, is that most of the problems that the black community has is because fathers are not in the homes. Uh, you need to be in the house, blah, blah, blah. You need to take care of your children, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. All these articles making you pay for the news. I'm just mad. It's annoying. I'm, no one buys a paper anymore, Kevin. Dog, I, I don't want to subscribe. And I'm paying for New York Times. And let me tell you, they still be like, ah, you can't see this. Uh, for real. Anyway, the Daily Beast reported that he had a secret son that he didn't see. Christian, right? Is that a Herschel? Name? No, oh no. Christian Walker is the secret son. No, no, no. no. Christian Walker is the the public the, son. Okay, sorry. He had sorry, another sorry. son. And then later on in the week, it was like, actually he has two secret kids. Mm. And then by the end of the week, it was like, Herschel Walker actually has like four. Oh, he just out here. Four children that he does not. Um, claim. Have, does not claim nor have a personal relationship. The Jesus. reason I bring this up is because 
we talked about this a couple weeks ago. Politicians, to me, often run on things they know their base wants to hear Mm -hmm. that is contrary to how they actually live. Yes. Right? We were talking about abortion, I believe, and how if abortion is not federally available and it's a state-by-state thing, a state-by-state choice, it's going to be banned in a lot of red states. It's Mm -hmm. going to be available in a lot of blue states. Yeah. (laughs) It doesn't mean that people who voted against abortion or voted for it to end will not use it. Right. It just most likely means that poor people won't have access to safe abortions. Right. This man, Herschel Walker, his whole thing was fathers, black people be in the home. He is rich, (laughs) former NFL player. How you don't take care of your kids. There's, there's poor regular people, black, black fathers be in the home. Yeah. For the most part, more than most families, even though the media will tell you that that's not the case. Right. And actually in actual uh, life, actual statistics, black fathers are some of the most present fathers of any uh, race, ethnicity type. And it just be like, I honestly, I'll be honest, not that I'm not going to vote or anything like that. But sometimes I'd be so deflated mm. when it comes to how American politics are. I'd be just like, you you can see it for for what it is. Mm-hmm. You know it's it feels like a lot of politicians are just like wrestlers. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like put on characters. Put on characters. I'm the baby face, you're the heel, this and that. And I just be like, and people be falling for a hook, line, and sinker, and I'd be like, this is just mm-hmm. dumb. And I'm not not even just Republicans. I mean Democrats. Yeah, all of them. Like I remember Obama, his first term, he was uh, he was against gay marriage. By the time his second term was around, he was like, ah, nah, what, nah, guys? Nah. You know, like I be mean, come on. And I don't, I just don't be knowing how they. And this is actually part of the reason Trump was voted in, is because people felt his people felt like he was just keeping it real, yeah, telling it like it is. The stuff that they be like. I be wanting to say that. Yeah, and that's yeah. all it really was to me. Yeah. It was just like, yes, racist things out loud. Mm-hmm. He says them, I, I agree. I agree. Yeah, and I just be like, man, it's just like. And then I watch shows like Succession, and it'd be like, oh yeah, we're picking the president in here, and I'd be like, I know them rich. First of all, rich, really wealthy people are not affected by politics like that. No, except maybe um, taxes. But their day to day life isn't as impacted like like an actual like a average American. Well, of of course it's not when we all know that lobbyists and money is what helps create all policies. Man. All major policies. Unless you're on unless you're on a local level, which is where a lot of change happens and um is which is also with the elections that we typically ignore. Like there was just a you said you remember you were like I didn't know there was even a mm-hmm. vote uh, like a, a, a voting actually happened. I didn't either. I was going to sign my kids up for camp, <laughs> and when I was like, "We voting," and went ahead and researched the people and went ahead and voted. So a lot of times, where policies uh, that affect us on a day to day life happen on a local level, which they make sure they barely advertise that they really make it seem as if it's not important, and then on the larger levels. All these politicians' pockets are being lined so heavily by major corporations that need certain laws to be in place so that they can continue to grow and monopolize certain industries. It's just like, yeah. Absolutely. Even if somebody comes in with the intentions of making change, it is it is a beast to try to, you know, change everything around. It's a, it's a lot harder than what... I probably would ever recognize being someone who's never been in a uh, a political figure or a figure voted into some sort of governmental office. But mm-hmm. yeah, most of these people are just spe- spewing rhetoric to get people riled up, to get people to actually get them into office. And then once they get into office, they are their uh, loyalties are aligned with those people that are going to give them the money. To live the lifestyle they want to live. I, I agree wholeheartedly. I remember when um, it, it was a local election I was voting in in Tacoma. And this is when I was so saved that alcohol was just the oh. worst thing ever. And they were voting to allow alcohol to be sold in grocery stores. And 
and convenience stores outside of just liquor stores. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you, I vehemently was against this and I, I circled my square tight. Yeah. I tell you that thing won by 800 million votes. <laughs> and then I was doing some research. I was like, dang, was I like the only people voting for it? I saw that like Costco was lobbying for it. Like all these big companies were lobbying for this. They were like, we can make money. Bruh, they were like, we'll put these little liquor stores out of business. They'd be closing by seven on Sundays, Costco and, and Ralph's and Kroger. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I was, I was voting, I was voting against corporations. It's never more prevalent to me than during uh than gun rights laws when it's like how are politicians seeing what's happening and really being like, but the, the guns ain't the problem. And then when you see how much the NRA pays them publicly, mm -hmm. this is publicly. just the public, the public money be outrageous. Mm -hmm. I was reading articles about how money is funneled privately through super PACs and stuff. I was like, these people ain't never gonna, they ain't mm. never, are you kidding me? Mm. Whether how they personally feel about gun is irrelevant. Yeah. I need money for my campaign. Mm -hmm. I need money to get reelected. What what I need to say? Yeah. What guns are think? great. Okay. Exactly. Everybody should arm the more more guns. More guns. Arm the we'll teachers. See. Yeah. The, the students. The janitors. Everybody gets a gun. Everybody. That helps the people who sell guns. So I'm just saying, I be deflated. I didn't say I'm not voting and I give up. Cause uh, people in the comments is like, this is what they want. Well, I'd be deflated. I'm listen. I'd half the time don't even. I'm gonna be honest. Now, when it's a policy, because we have a lot of props that that doesn't happen in every state. California be we be prop everything. Oh, Proposition at five through eighty six. It be literally a prop seven eighty two. Yeah, it be so many, and then you got to make sure you understand what's no means and what yes means, because sometimes it's the opposite of what you think, and you like now hold what is, what is gonna happen when I do this? It's not even consistent among the props. Oh no, and it's they, worded crazy on purpose, purpose. I believe purposefully. Yes, sometimes you're voting for the same thing on two different props mm. to do the opposite <laughs> of the other thing. It's crazy. So the propositions I do try to actually research to like figure out how I want to vote. Now where I don't research is hard and I'm not ashamed <laughs> is on the actual person. Mm. Are you a woman? Are you a minority? Mm -hmm. Are you more progressive leaning? <laughs> you will then get my vote. If your name looks even remotely black, well, I guess you're getting in here. You <laughs> it could be literally no, for Lieutenant <laughs> Chief Governor. And it's like Paul uh <laughs> Paul Thomas, current Lieutenant Lieutenant Chief Walker, uh Tom Johnson, eleven years in the military, all this experience that makes sense. Tamika <laughs> Tamika Johnson. High school PE teacher. Well, Tamika, I think you would be great as Lieutenant <laughs> Chief. Yeah, I don't <laughs> care. Tamika, you look good. Oh, she's a Delta. Uh, oh, I love her. I don't care what she, oh, she dropped line trying to play a chess rope. You girl, this is your chance to make up for that. Tamika. <laughs> I don't care. I'm like, you gonna get my vote today. <laughs> That's the vote you getting. She said that white man was in the military for 11 years. Mm -hmm. mm. Tamika, mm. ITT Tech. Come on. Go girl, ahead, girl. You done I'll, turned your life around. You done turned it around and hopefully <laughs> something will work out. And don't let me get too petty. I will do a write-in. If it's just a bunch of white men, well, who pushed your name, ma'am? You, Asian lady. What's your name? Okay. Well, you got my vote. <laughs> I don't oh, care. Oh, my God. Absolutely. I just man. be googling faces while I'm in the thing. What do you look like? Me and Melissa, man, we I'm talking about two adult times. I feel when we make Thanksgiving dinner at our house, and when I be we she make and I go pick up old uh, late supplies, and when we open up that pamphlet and go through the things, I be like, this is grown folks' business. And I be like, whew. Okay, now what's the legislation? I remember when somebody says in the comments, and I'm this is when I was this is probably the first thing that I felt like I got played. Voting for Gore, or the way the Gore thing happened, and the the Chads in uh in Florida, and then later on watching those documentaries and seeing how they played the whole and like his brother was the governor of Florida at the time and mm. stuff, and how that election swung that uh state swung the election. 
I was like, dang, mm-hmm. that's they they be cheating. Right. They be che- and then you bro, the voter suppression stuff in Georgia, man. They be you can't yeah. bring people they be like I mean anything to get they close all the precincts in the black neighborhoods. Uh-huh. They, were like, they be like, nah, y'all gotta go cross town, stand in line, you can't help them, you can't give them no water or they or the vote don't count. I'd be like, Y'all gerrymandering mm-hmm. Gerrymandering is that is some that's wild that's stuff. That's they will draw a line. Be <laughs> like, why does this look like a, a dog? Why did you any, shape it that way? The, the don't, it literally no. is like, how can we win? We are losing. How can we? Even the whole, honestly, the electoral college, I'd be like, fam, the popular vote be a million. The, the last, uh, I think Hillary had won by like a million, the pop, popular vote. And I think... Uh, Joe Biden, and then Joe Biden fell off the bike. I was like, man. Oh, my God. I have never laughed so hard before in my life. It was the slowest (laughs) fall, which makes you look older. How you don't, how you can't get your foot down? Get off of it. It was this. You, that's the first thing you learn when you're like five. When you're going over, get your. How you didn't get your foot it, out? It had that little uh, shoe sleeve on the top, but he, it's like he forgot that his other foot was in the one that he took his left <laughs> foot out. I tell of. you, I watched but, that. I was like, it, it was great man. because there were like five angles of it, and we watched every oh, angle. Man. I said, Look, watch this one. He just disappears out of frame. This <laughs> one, you see so where. <laughs> Boom! I, you didn't get. He didn't get no limb out to break his fall. But he was on a bike ride to prove that he still exercises. Dog to the press. Dog. I said that couldn't have been Joe. Please don't say it. Well, you know how hard Joe. I would honk if Joe Biden was was driving in front of me. Get your old butt. I, your kids should be taking you places. Why are you driving like, yourself? I'm like Kamala. Kamala, he did. Come on, where you at? Shoot, Kamala, where are you? Yeah, I don't know why he, I mean, it made it, I mean, he had on the helmet, he had on all the stuff, oh. it makes it worse. <laughs> it makes you look, the the way he fell, the fact it wasn't like, oh, his bike wouldn't stop, and then it crashed. It was, he came to a complete stop, <laughs> and then was like, <laughs> oh, no. When people say, because I heard he fell before I saw it, I was like, dang, what happened? Did a rock, did a stick? You was controlling the bike all the time. It was fully stopped. It was like a child. He was like, "Hey, guys!" <laughs> it was like a child learning to run. Oh yeah, yeah. You got to stick your foot out, otherwise you'll fall. No. And he got the nuclear codes. I know. I was like, "Why Falling. is he out here on a bike?" We just let us watch you eat a salad. We'll believe you're healthy. Just, just, just say I'm old. I'm not that healthy. No, it's, I get it because everybody's like, he going to die. We got to put somebody else in here. Just be showing him. I take my vitamins. They be fixing me Green Chef here in the White House. And let me tell you, Green Chef is a CCOF certified meal kit company. Green Chef makes eating well easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, including the president's. Whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking for to eat more balanced meals, Green Chef offers a range of recipes to suit your preferences. With seasonal produce, premium proteins, and organic ingredients you can trust, Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. Time-saving recipes packed with fresh produce and vibrant flavors help you make the most out of those long summer days. We offset 100% of our carbon footprint as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. With Green Chef, you're reducing your food waste by at least 25% versus grocery shopping. Green Chef offers 24 always changing recipes to choose from every week so you'll never get bored. Y'all know I love a good meal kit service, okay? love them and so i do think if you're trying to eat healthy if you're also trying to be more conscious in how you um, operate in your day-to-day life as far as in your impact on the earth green chef is the way to go press for time try fit for fresh convenient calorie reducing recipes ready in 25 minutes or less pre-made sauces pre-prepped ingredients give you a head start on cooking while keto and veggie options provide wholesome variety without skimping on flavor. Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh. Y'all know me and HelloFresh are besties. And with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. I love switching between the brands and now our listeners can enjoy both brands at a discount on us. 
Go to greenchef.com slash SK130. SK130. Use code SK130. SK. To get $130 off plus free shipping. Go to free- greenchef.com slash SK130. And use code SK130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. That's uh, the number one meal kit for eating well. Oh, yeah. And ladies and gentlemen... We can move on. <laughs> That's it? Yes. I was like, oh, no, hold on. Uh, I just want to throw this in real quick. Shout out to Jennifer Hudson. Yes, yeah, she At did. the ripe young age, I want to say 20. How old is she, 28? What? No. 33. I was about to say, sir, she is not in her 20s. What do you mean? Oh, dang. Yeah, get her up there. She's 40? Yes. Why do you think she's a baby? 28. And what? Uh, she was 21 when she auditioned for American Idol. What year was that? That was 2004. You called me a baby. That was 2004? Yes. We've been living life. You be 40 next year, Kevin. Yes. Don't you say it. 40. Am I? I will. Yes, sir. <gasps> a whole you. Dubai. I know you said it. United. United for the oh, feel how you feel. I don't care no more what the people said. I'm doing what I want to do. Good. Do what you uh, want Shout out to Jennifer Hudson. She got an EGOT. Oscar for who? For Dream Girls. Oscar for Dream Girls. My old shoot was what the Tony was for. I know the Tony was for producing. Yes. The Emmy, I don't know what was for either. The Emmy was for, I read the article. It was also like uh, like a talk show, I think. Hold was on. it a daytime Emmy? I want to say Yas. I read the whole article because I was shocked. Okay, Dream Girls 2007, Best Supporting Actress. That's the hard one to get. That's the one that's... That that's, and that Tony. That, the Tony is the one people will never get. It's the hard uh, one. Golden Globe, also for Dream Girls. There goes your G. That's not a part of you. That ain't oh. your G? Grammy. Oh, no, Emmy. It's a Grammy. It's a Grammy. You're right. It's about the Golden Globe. So she got her Grammy for Best R&B Album with Jennifer Hudson and uh, Best Musical Theater Album with The Color Purple. So she had two Grammys for that. She got her Emmy when she um, showed off a ring. Hold on. It says when she when she won the Emmy. No, but what did she win it for? Oh, she got the BET Award, too? Oh, she won. Oh, Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Interactive Media for a Daytime Program for Executive Producing. Uh, it was a fairy tale made for Oculus Quest called Baba Yaga. Is that real? Yes. Baba Yaga? Baba Yaga. It was for Oculus Quest, uh, and it's an interactive fairy tale. And she executive produced it. So she got two producing and two performing. Yeah, and a lot of, a lot, there's, I don't think there's anyone. Oh, she just got the Daytime Emmy last year. Yeah. So she went back to back. That's Drake. Uh, I've, mm. I've, a lot of people don't get um, for the, performance all no. across the board. That doesn't Has anybody matter. got it all in performance? I don't think so. You got to sneak one in. It's usually, a, if you're not a Broadway person, the Tony's almost always for producing. John Legend got his for producing as well. Yeah, it's it's. She got a B guy because she got that BT award too. Who else got that? Ooh. And she got the she got the NAACP image. She got the Ben got the Ben got. She got eight NAACP image awards. Where did you? Oh, Ben with the N right. There. I was like BT Emmy NAACP Grammy Oscar Tony. Mm-hmm. Who else got the Ben got? The Ben got. That's a that's a hard one. Jay uh, Hug got that Ben got. Um, Rita Moreno got all performances that people are saying. I, I, I don't think we said nobody. I think we said hardly anybody. Okay. Since, y'all got, since, y- since you got y'all degrees and you know every freaking thing. <laughs> you know Mark in this video about you. Let me tell you what the funniest part was what to me, it? Kevin. What he said, you know, I don't know everything. Sometimes I could Google. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I gave him that one because I was like, oh my you know. God. I know all the things. Shout out to Jay Hud for the Ben Got. But listen, listen, Philip Michael Thomas, he is the person who coined the term EGOT, the Miami Vice actor. From, you know who I heard? What? <laughs> Sean Patrick Thomas. Oh. I said, what Save Life, The Last Dance <laughs> did? How he, how he got to coin it? Yes. No, but. Is that the black dude? Yes. What? He got, he said it? 
he was like in the 1984 he was like he wanted to achieve the EGOT within five years why didn't he just say goat put the Grammy first no, he called Grammy, me Oscar, Tony, Emmy. But what is great about this whole thing? <laughs> Don't tell me he didn't get none of them. He was never even nominated <laughs> <laughs> for none. For none. <laughs> I aspire to be like I would. <laughs> I'm gonna create this thing that I would like to win. Have you been nominated? Not as of yet. Ever. And I never. Not one. Not one. You still got time. Philip Seymour Hoffman. You said no. Philip Michael Thomas. Philip Michael Thomas. When he got. He didn't even get nominated for an Emmy? Nothing. (laughs) Miami, this is after he was, he was on Miami Vice and he was like, this is what I want. And he got, and they were like, you got nothing. (laughs) (laughs) That's so sad. No, you got nothing. Oh, uh, he don't even have an award section on his on his. Uh, no, uh, they didn't gave him nothing. He the BET could give him something. BET give him something, so he can at least get the B in the bin. Got that's terrible, man. Mm. Damn, Here we have, guys, he got this is what we got. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that's interesting. They took the turn. And was like, and you shut up. You won't be getting. Any <laughs> you won't. You won't be getting any of them. Great idea. <laughs> Love it. He Love the, the idea. N-O, he got the N-O-P-E. I feel so bad for him. So 17 people have the got. And I think uh, I, the only other black person, black woman is Whoopi, right? Correct. She had hers for a minute, too. Mm-hmm. And she got, I want to say, three of her four were performances. Because she got the Grammy for a comedy album, I believe. Yes. Oscar for, was it Color Purple or Goat? No, it, was, it wasn't Color Purple. She didn't get nominated. Yeah. It must have been for Ghost. I thought it was the Emmy probably was, was for, for a producer. I, I think the, the, the Tony was for producing. No, no. I'm gonna tell you. I just clicked on him. She got oh no, her Tony is for Thoroughly Modern Millie. What was that? It was a be, it's best musical. She got that. She for, produced it? I do believe so. Yeah. I think she produced it. So the Grammy was for her comedy album. Yep. Her Emmy was for uh Outstanding special comedy uh, or the view. <clears throat> it looks like I think she um, produced the extraordinarily extraordinary life of Hattie McDaniel. She hosted. Oh yes, you're right. Uh huh. And then oh yeah, so her Academy Award. That's so crazy. Her ghost. She didn't. The for Color ghost. Purple didn't get no nominations. Oh yeah, like they that. Caring about, they weren't caring about. But her. she was good in Ghost. Mm. But she was also good in Color Purple. Yeah, but Ghost is just not a movie that I'm like. I know. Oscars. <laughs> I you know, know what you should at. see? Top Gun. I've been Top Gun was outstanding, Angel. Really? Angel. I took Top. the kids. It you was a great it, time. It's amazing. It was a I listen. I have it's amazing. Known that we took the kids to the movies too. What'd you take Sunday. them see? Jurassic World. Was it I Isaiah was said it? it was terrible. I think all of them are I don't think terrible ever and been corny. A good, yeah. yeah, like nah, it, that first one was good because we were young. Shock and dumb. value though. It's like how would they get a, dis- a dinosaur yeah. in a mechanic? When you go back and watch it, that dinosaur is like ah. <laughs> it looked like Joe Biden on the bike. <laughs> Put the hat on. Follow it over. I, I don't. I don't. I feel like it was a good movie though. Was it because we were in I ten? Think because we were young. Yes. It came out what ninety three, ninety four. I think before then. No, nah, I was not. I feel like I felt I like saw the Lion the, King, the instrumental in orchestra. Ba-da-da. You know, Joe was coming, don't you, Joshua? Ninety-three. Excuse me, what was coming? What? Joshua's negative. I was born. He was alive. No, he was born. He was conceived to that. Melissa played that in band. Yeah, we not played true. it. In, uh, the play the viola had the most boring part. I played the viola. It was such a stupid <laughs> instrument. It's not even a violin. <laughs> uh, Did I tell you why I quit the viola? No, I it, I think it's very strange that we both play the viola. We it were unruly feels cousins. So not right. We are unruly cousins. Even when you was in Kentucky and I was in, I was playing the viola when I was in Virginia. Mm. We was like, my unruly cousins learned this as well. <laughs> nah, nah. I yeah. asked my dad, do they play the viola in shouting music? And he was like, not typically. And I turned my viola in the next Monday. Because I was like, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna get off in church. You can't be like, you know, black folk would have loved it. If you would have been able to get in there, get the spirit on it, you would have played staccato. They were like, 
That's the Lord saying. Come get on, it, Kim. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Ah, t- Actually, ah. you have to do this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, you played the oboe. You ain't never seen nobody get off the oboe. Food, food, boot, 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 boot. I was playing the recorder in church. Oh, no, yeah. you weren't. I absolutely yeah, weren't. Yeah, they, they were like, bless his heart. He wants to be a part of It was of this so, so loud bad. in there. I don't think anybody even noticed. <laughs> Our church was so, the music was outrageously <laughs> loud. loud. Oh, I'm surprised anyone can hear that comes out of the church. By the way, I deleted this video on Instagram because it was going the wrong way. We went to dinner on Sunday. Oh, I mm-hmm. saw the comments and I knew, man. I just went away from it. We were trying to have a Father's Day dinner, just hanging out, me, Melissa, Mel, and Greg. Mm-hmm. We go to this, we on an open table, like you be. What's available around me, stuff like that. We picked this place called Prohibition. It just the, opened. Just there's opened. A, there's a sister one in Riverside that's been open for a lot Let longer. Me have a napkin, please. The food uh, recommendations on there were out of this world. And they had four, and they had it at the time slot. Literally the only reason we picked this restaurant, because it was Sunday night, you know, it was like 8.30, and the places were closing. Mm-hmm. Angel, we sat down. It was so loud in there. A woman climbed up on a, behind our table. A little go-go dancer. I got the video I will show you. Okay. The woman was blowing fire in basically a one-piece bikini. Okay. Right, literally, I'm talking about right behind Melissa. The girl is just. <sighs> Actually, I got it on my Twitter still. They understand. Mm-hmm. I was like, what TH is happening? Let me show you, Angel. House Cheat. music, house music. Cheat. Just point it out there. Yeah, break my just put it out there. You won't break my soul. Cheeks over top of your steak. Cheeks over top of your food. Oh, so I got so many, I thought you were Christian comments on Instagram, and I just didn't feel like dealing with it. I oh, just was like, I'm sorry, I would have left it right on up there. I just <laughs> did it. I was like, are y'all not, maybe they're not, I don't, you know what? I, I don't always have the energy. I, Some days I just don't have it. I can't wait until you are too grown. Wait, wait until you flip a, a Tony Baker page. Oh, Tony's grumpy he's now. Getting, he's getting he's Tony oh, just be Tony is a you remember uh, Grumpy Old Men? Yes. This is Tony's ascension. Mm-hmm. That forty four coming in. I've, we've only known old people as old. Tony is becoming an old. old everything bothers him. He be <laughs> fussing on his Instagram. He is. Oh, read the GD caption. Yeah, he be actually talking. <laughs> That's what makes him old, the fact that he's yelling back. I'm not saying wait until you turn Tony. I can't wait until you become too grown for anybody to check you. Uh, That's the thing. I be dang if you think you're going to. My mama can't even tell me nothing no more. My dad was talk. I left it on my stories. My dad was like, man, L.A. is crazy. Did y'all leave? And we left, but not because of her. We left because it was entirely too loud. I cannot, my meals, I, we went to this other place that was super quiet and chill. I, when I go to dinner, I want to, I want to hear the person I'm talking to. Mm-hmm. I like it too. I also like to be able to see. I don't like the dark restaurant. It's too dark in there. I'm like, what? I got cataracts. What is this it? Is what y'all trying to make me feel like I got cataracts because I can't see. I don't, I be in the, in the restaurant like, hold on, so what, <laughs> no. chicken tender, Stop why? It. It's pitch black. <laughs> and then the furniture's all dark. Like your mama's friend. Oh my. <laughs> oh my God. Just flashlight we in the eye. Hold on. We went to dinner with these with my mom's friend in Fayetteville, and this lady, it was dark in there, but not this dark. She turned the flashlight on and then forgot it was on. She was like, "Yeah, so what you said?" <laughs> and she was putting the flashlight in people's eyes. It was a lot. But yeah, no, I can't wait, Kevin, until you are just like, y'all. You about to be 40, Kevin. I really am. You about to be whatever you choose to do is between you, God, and you. That's it. You right. I just be like, I just be like, hush. I know. I don't be wanting to see the interaction. I don't think it was as much as like, I didn't want to offend people. I just didn't, I didn't want to see it. I'm not saying that I don't understand where you're coming from. I, I get it. I get it. 
But yes, definitely yes. A who gonna check me, boo? I need I need a little who gonna check me, boo. And I think people I think people because they know your heart and that you really are not trying to uh, create a narrative that's not true, nor do you want to participate in one. They know that they can like Push poke at you and with then we that. take it down. When I feel like, like that, I usually do something on purpose to invite that. Maybe I need to. Maybe I need to remind them. Maybe I need to get some people to unfollow me. Yeah, I feel like I feel like eventually you are going to get to the age where you just going to be like, I'm just going to keep on. Y'all really, going to get y'all going to be like, well, he's not safe. OK, then will you leave me alone if you think that? If you think I'm not safe, will you leave me alone? Then will you leave me alone? I'm going to cuss in a movie just so they <laughs> I'm going to cuss and have a sex scene and do drugs. I'm going to do a method acting. I'm going to do real drugs. I'm gonna run down Hollywood naked, man. Like, man, he used to be saved. He ain't no more. Uh, that 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 cussing thing be cracking me up because people really be. I'm like, if that is your conviction, then you don't cuss. We don't be worried about if this man is or not. Nah. It don't matter. You know what does matter though? Saving time when you're a small business. Mm. That's what really matters. If That's you what I be me. thinking about. That when man. listen, when you run a business, time seems more precious. Every misplaced moment feels like a missed opportunity. Well, ShipStation gives e-commerce sellers like you more time to do what you really love. Go to restaurants where women are blowing fire above your head. Unless what you really love is managing every single little detail of order fulfillment ship station automates time intensive shipping processes so you can get back to focusing on bigger things like developing new products honing your marketing strategy or interacting with customers no wonder ship station is already trusted by over a hundred thousand sellers kev and melissa have been using ship station for ever since i've known them and y'all mm -hmm. know when they were cranking out merch the merch was getting to you because they were using ShipStation and they were able to save time and money. All manual shipping tasks, eating up your time. Um, ShipStation is really good at those. So let ShipStation handle all your shipping and handling and get back to what you're good at growing your business. It works with all your storefronts, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and more, and lets you automate all the manual work that goes into shipping. You'll also get deeply discounted shipping rates normally, normally reserved for Fortune 500 companies, and you can easily compare carriers, rates, and delivery times, so it's easy to choose the best option for every shipping scenario. In fact, 98% of ship companies that use ShipStation for a year keep using it for as long as they're in business. It's time to let go of all those shipping tasks. ShipStation can do it better and faster. Sign up using promo code CREW with a K. CREW with a K. For a free 60-day trial today at ShipStation.com and start saving time with every shipment. That's two whole months of shipping made quick and painless, and it's free to try. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in CREW with a K. CREW with a K. ShipStation, <laughs> make ship happen. Somebody in the Patreon said, Kev's going to pop on Euphoria. <laughs> Doing all I don't. I, I don't. I want y'all to understand. I don't. It's. It's not that I'm afraid of people. I was just annoyed. You annoyed a folk. I was annoyed, and I just. I didn't have it in me to be annoyed. Uh, all right. Uh, and I want to show. I want to do this story, but it's kind of hard for y'all to tell. It's kind of hard with y'all. Kind of hard with y'all not being able to see. Is what I'm trying to say. Let me. If I can post it in the comments. So. All right. Actually, I'm gonna post it in the comments on the Patreon job. <coughs> You post it in there when you see the people. Hmm? Uh, let me, when we put the video, you put it in here. This lady Airbnb her house, and the tenant refused to leave. Uh, when I saw this, I said, "Okay, I'm gonna play it for you." God. What were the terms of her Airbnb? She had a three day rental, mm -hmm. and the lady had. A, she was coming back later, like two days for a room in the house. For a room, for a, room. a room in her house. Okay, and she was gone. And her housekeeper was like, actually, she says in the video. Yeah, let okay. us say it. Let us tell you. Actually, she says in the video. Oh, shoot, hold on, I don't think it was actually Airbnb. You don't think so? Airbnbs. No. Okay. No, it was. So, she said don't trust my Airbnbs. I know, but. Yeah. Don't trust my Airbnbs. Okay. So, I can't even talk right now. I'm so pissed off. I, I didn't even know this happened, but it's real. It's really going on. I call myself trying to find a way pay off my mortgage a little better, a little quicker or whatever. So <clears throat> I put this 
this ad out or whatever saying I was looking for someone to sublease one of the rooms in my house or whatever. It was going to be a, supposed to be like this real smooth transaction or whatever. I was, went on vacation or whatever. The person was supposed to be gone three days prior to my return. <clears throat> So I'm talking to my housekeeper, whatever, X, Y, Z. She's like, yo, that person is still here in your house. What do you mean they're still in my house? They're supposed to be gone. So when I get back and touch down in the city, this is still here in my motherfucking house, okay? Refusing to leave. So I don't know what to do. I'm new to this shit. So I go down and I do up. Uh... There you go, y'all. Straight to the kitchen. I ain't going nowhere. So deal with it. On top of her just intruding into my home, she disrespects me. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I've been trying to do this the right way. I done went down there and got the, <clears throat> the the all the paperwork that I need to do to get her evicted out my house, whatever. But that process had to go through protocols and all the other stupid. Blah, 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 bull. And then I just, the police just like, just left my house. And I'm like, get this bitch out my house. They're like, oh, she's a tenant now. She's a tenant. Oh, There's nothing. You and the police. Oh, okay. My door. That's all I know. Yo, door. This is my house. How about you get the out of my house? How about that's what you do? How about you get the out of my house? How about you get the out of my house? How about you get. That lady's door she, she, in her face. In she her face. She smoked a cigarette in the kitchen. Yes. In the next little. And she just. Yo, I will call the police if you touch my door. <laughs> I think Angel's right. I thought it was Airbnb because the video started out with Airbnb. She said, don't trust no Airbnbs. But uh, it she, seems like she subleased. Uh -huh. And the lady was like. She's like, oh, I, got I live you. here now. Yeah, this is my place. And. There would just have to be a physical altercation. Absolutely. The police would be coming back more than likely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The police would be coming back. Absolutely. And um, she, if she was only there three days, it doesn't give her well, she said right. She said she was supposed to be gone three days ago. Yeah. So if I've, she could have been here for longer. She didn't say how long she was out of town. Oh, see, I thought she said she was supposed to have only rented the place for a couple of days. I thought she said, let me listen again. Yeah. Don't trust no Airbnbs, okay? Please. So, I can't even talk right now. I'm so pissed off. Yeah, I, I didn't even have what this real and shit's really going on. I found myself trying to find a way to pay off <laughs> my mortgage a little better, a little quicker, or whatever. So, I put this this ad out or whatever saying I was looking for someone to sublease one of the rooms in my Sub house or whatever. It was going to be a, supposed to be like this real smooth transaction or whatever. I was... Went on vacation and or whatever. The person was supposed to be gone three days. So yeah, oh, the three days person before. was supposed to be gone three days prior to her return. Ain't so no she way. subleased it. Yeah, and the girl is like, I live here also. Month. Is a month in squatters rights? I think so. Yeah, I what think is squatters? You, you, don't, squatters? you I know don't that. have to leave. But why though? Because you technically need another place to, it depends on what state. Um, <clears throat> did, did, do we know what state she's in? I don't mm, know. No. Okay, because <clears throat> there's different ones. I know California, it'd be nearly impossible to get so people out. So let's look up California. Well, no, California, rights. you got to be there at least five years. Oh, dang. So it's Uninterrupted. harder. Yeah, it's harder to claim squatter rights in California. Oh, this squatter's rights is just coming up with in California Yeah, California, only. five years continuous use or maintenance for a squatter to make adverse profession, possession claim. Let's see, in Georgia. I'm just going to pretend like it's in Georgia. 30 days, and if they get mail delivered, it's a wrap. Um. No, it seems like a lot of places. Georgia, it's uh, seven years of occupancy. So where could she have done it that quickly? I don't know. I'm seeing 20. 20 years? Mm. 20 years. For squatter's to, rights? To own it. I'm going to do squatter's rights on my house. <laughs> I'm going to see if the, more the bank lets me keep it. Like, I've been here seven nowhere. years uninterrupted. None in, let me try Florida. That's where they be sometimes doing things backwards. No. <laughs> Seven years. So I don't know where the 30, let me see, 30-day squatters rights. 30-day squatters rights. <clears throat> 
Under California law, they do not, they do have the right not to leave after 30 days, which will force you to take legal action. Those with the, those who have entered your home illegally while vacant, if the rental property is sitting vacant and gets entered by trespassers, you can still run into the same inch. So there is still, um, oh, wait a minute, let me see the, it says California has the easiest squatter's rights, adverse possession law. But it's still just a California prop, just occupy a California property for five years. Oh, so we can squat here, Kev. Without the owner's permission, <laughs> pay the property taxes, and you acquire full ownership by then suing the legal owner in a quiet title lawsuit. A quiet title? Mm-hmm. Then I don't think you even have to like let them know I'm about to take your place. Oh, wow. That's scary. <clears throat> I think she can still more than likely get her out of the, the place. It's just going to require more legal. More legal stuff. Yeah. That's what she said. She's like, they had to do the paperwork, and the police was like, man, hush. Basically, they was like, we're not going to do nothing. Just leave us alone. Okay, so yes, it says, uh, <clears throat> okay, then I'm going to shut up. In California, people who live in your property for a period of 30 days or more are technically tenants. And have the same rights as tenants. And while California may be li more liberal than other states, it's the only state with this uh, law. As mentioned above, house sharing platforms have to run the same issue. Okay, so basically, um, basically, if a person has been in your spot for more than 30 days here, they are a tenant. And tenants have rights. So you can't, like, if I were to serve someone an eviction notice, I can't force them to leave sooner than 30 days. Mm. So I she's be been 60 now. <clears throat> so six, she, since, since COVID, since it's been Pandy? longer. Pandeasy? So while the girl is going to eventually have to leave the, the illegal tenant, she will no longer have, like, certain rights. She is within... Her time frame? Her time frame. If it was just three days ago? Yeah. Dang. So she's not squatter's rights refer to months. owning a place, taking over ownership. That's that. Did you see that thing where the guy had found that empty house and he went in there and tried to live? No. There was a whole documentary on it uh, or story. And he got to live there for a minute, like a couple years. It was like abandoned. Somebody had lost it. He just went in there and put his stuff up in there real quick and got the mail coming. And it was like, ah, it's his. He's like, ah, it's mine. <laughs> and then the white neighbors were like, no. Black, no. get out of here. Get out. And of he here. had all the laws and stuff, and they were like, shut up, you're black. They were like, we'll just kill you because we have that law. <laughs> and then you're like, you know what? I'll go find a, is, uh extend a oh stay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Somebody said he bought the house for, for like $7, like something super cheap. Yeah, it was something crazy like that. Yeah, in Dallas. Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. Show sure did. This is why you can't have people say what you. We've had well, many I have people my, say I have my, my nieces and nephews in here. They apparently have squatters rights. It's been, it's, it'll be 10 days tomorrow. And I mean, now you got, they you got just, two more. You got two more with them. I got the, till Thursday. I mean, how it, exciting. I bet you they've it's had not a exciting. Blast. I'm sure they had a great time. And what, if they, upstairs, what if they don't leave? I will leave. I will live here in this office <laughs> and probably Kevin get thrown showed out. Up la yesterday, we do the, our podcast. <laughs> and when Kevin came in here, I was like, oh, <laughs> bless his heart. It smelled, in my little loft area, it smelled like an active Burger King during rush hour oh. a couple of days ago. Why? Heavy on the onions. Every Whopper, oh. every Whopper Jr., heavy on the Is onions. Is it mostly boys? It's even. Uh -huh. And it's even. Everybody's It's thinking. even. It's, it, I mean, the must was in there chilling. Mm, 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 oh. mm, mm. What's up, y'all? Y'all gonna go swimming? Ain't gonna take no shower? Woo! It's 90 degrees in LA. I mean, the must was up in there. Thick. The AC couldn't blow. The AC blew and it went back in. He said, I don't want I said, no part of this. It was too thick. I said, y'all, hey, Melissa came out. She had a meeting with them. A meeting? <laughs> All of them. And there was babies. She had to set the babies down. Listen, y'all don't come take no food upstairs. And somebody's musty. Somebody stay. I just want everybody to take a shower. I don't know who it is. Let's. That's, there's, there's showers in every room. Plenty, let's run it. plenty of showers. And, and let's listen, run it. after that meeting, we had the doors open. Take this water heater. You're I said, good. hey. Back to back. She had that meeting and it, it, it changed. Sometimes they just need to be reminded. I said, hey. The baby was like, we don't know how to wash ourselves. Get in the tub. Get Even Monty, tub. he stopped pooping. Monty went in there. He was going He's nuts. the one who taught them how to do it. He's yeah, like, what, what did he say to them? Just take a crap right here. Just where you at. Just come on, let it loose. Uh, they'll love it.
They'll love it. They'll pick you up and they'll hold you and pet you. <laughs> it was so funny because Melissa was like, somebody's musty. Everybody's going to take a shot. Because <laughs> I don't even know who it is. I don't know who it is, but somebody stinks. <laughs> I, don't, I can't even say it was the boys. Boys do be musty. They're like my sons. It's like they're unaware. Oh, no. I go in the room. You got to push the door through. Oh, no. And I'd be like, open the window. Y'all have in here cooped up. Mm. That must is re- must has his hand behind his head on the pillow. He's getting mold in the ceiling. Our kids don't have must, but they be having piss. <laughs> oh. It's, it's the smell of piss. On themselves? Uh, no, they just, I don't know if the toilet is necessary for them <laughs> per se. Uh-oh. And sometimes on them because they don't actually, they don't take the napkin to get the drip. So the drip just being they dross. Well, no, that's I, a bad thing. I could say, <laughs> no, at my big age, You've got what to happens get the is, drip. I, you what? There's times you pee, you're done. You put it away, and then it's like, Kevin, then wear a panty no. liner or something. <laughs> put something in there to catch it. Then you, toss it you out. You gotta be in a rush to leave. Okay? I'm not in a rush. It was seven it more drops. They both they supposed to come out seven? together. You might get one you or get, two. You just get a ball of toilet paper, just like this. And you just put it in there, and then you catch it, and then it, then you throw it away the next time. You yeah, catch it. that's crazy, right? When people do that. <laughs> yeah, but Mustang was they don't wipe Kevin. They don't have the shake, regular body funk. My kids they're, don't. They're young still. They're young, and um, me and Marcus usually don't like. We don't have a large amount of body. Now I can get funky, but we don't. You know how some people like they. They just have easier body funk. can be musty. And so, luckily, little Marcus has inherited that. He got to wear deodorant, but he's not one that you just like, God dang. And that was one of the hardest parts about being a youth pastor. I had a a whole lesson one time on hygiene. I remember I told the girl, I told the girls and the guys this. I said, hey, man, y'all got to either wash your do-rags and your bonnets or get new ones. And one of the girls was like, Kev, I never even thought about that. Damn, they don't be thinking. She said, I never. She was probably 15, 16 at the time. I said, bro, y'all be, you be sweating up in the do-rag. You got to let, you got to wash it or get a new one. She was like, man, thank you. The boys was like, they, they, they be, it was them mostly when I was a youth pastor. Oh, And we drove down to California. Whew. Long drive. Oh, my gosh. Everybody's (laughs) thinking. I can't do it. I can't do the smells. I I never smelled my mama growing up, so I can't do when people say. I never smelled my mom. I never even saw my mom come out of the bathroom doodling. I I don't know for sure she's doodled ever. Oh, no. We would have a long conversation when my mom was on the toilet, but I never smelled just like. You'd be in there? All the way in the bathroom. You heard doodoo sound? Yeah, we right there. We talking. Why? Why? That, that's always been the case. All of us. During still? during the moment. Hold on. Still. Still. Mama Dorothy be doodle and you be like, let me tell you what that she said. Mama, where now? When can you watch the kids? Through the door or in the bathroom? In the bathroom. Me and them are in there. Mama, grandma, mama, grandma. Can can you help us? My mama the same way. Are you serious? She'll come in there while I'm the door's not locked. The, I never lock the door. For what reason? <laughs> For what reason? Amar going to be, open door. <laughs> he'll yell that at me in a second. My open door. And if I'm sitting on the toilet and I don't have my little little uh, thing that you put your feet on, the little body, body, body thing. Body. Oh, he'll grab it. Mummy. He'll give it to you? Uh-huh, put it oh, under, he's helpful. Uh-huh, he'll put it under my feet. He's a, he's, yeah, he has no barrier. He tried, (laughs) he was trying to, he grabs toilet paper. He's like, I wipe. I said, no. (laughs) (laughs) Mommy wipes herself. (laughs) He's like, I wipe. That's where you draw the line, Angel. I was like, no. That's where you draw the line? No, no. Front to back, mommy, I know. (laughs) Get up and go front to back. He was like, I will help you. He don't got, mm -mm. He don't, the kids don't know what's weird. You got to tell them weird. If you don't make it weird, they'd be like, you stink now, mama. I'm going to come here and uh, drink some juice. He does not care. He'll sit there, play with the flashlights. He'll have a the throw uh, a ball around in there. He don't care. Dang. My, my mom, we didn't have that conversation. We didn't do that. No. no. my dad. Yeah, my kids don't care. Little Marcus now is just like, I don't want no parts of that. But the twins, they don't care. Your mom, so Cy, <laughs> Cy hit me. And I'm like, you really, you see me on this toilet. You see me. They I don't care. They can't see me naked, but it's not by choice. You come in my room. This is my area. 
And also the kitchen is my area. The house is my area. <laughs> the house is my that's area. That's just, that's one thing I took from my grandma. My grandma walked around in bra and panties and no teeth. She does to this day. Amen. And, and Maybe her panties be pulled house. up. The bra and panty, there's about mm-hmm. this much skin. And she burps. She just be like, Bleh. Whew. Yeah. And I remember when my boys were young, I was like, okay, eventually when they get older, I'm going to be like, I'm going to walk around the house in shorts. And then I just never, I never felt the need to change who I was in my home that I pay for. Yeah. If y'all don't like it, that's okay. Come on. I agree. I agree. Well, we love y'all. We'll be doing the bonus on Friday. Yes, sir. You got anything going? Friday at 10. We Friday, Friday at 10. Put in the chat. Friday at 10. Friday at 10. Bald and the Beautiful will be here in the next 30 hour. to 45 minutes. Yeah, less than an hour. Yeah, less than five. an hour. We'll see y'all. We're doing a mukbang. God bless you. God keep you. We'll see you in the conference. Bye. 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 There's another thing of fire. There's another one. There's another thing of fire. There's another one. There's another one. There's another thing of fire. There's another thing of fire. With my boy Kev on stage. And that chick angel.